Skateboard trucks. Arguably the most important part of any skateboard or electric skateboard. Um, so I knew that if I was going to produce and release a production electric skateboard, I had to spend a lot of time perfecting our trucks. So when I founded Mboards or when I created Mboards, uh, our business model was really custom board building. We didn't really get into the DIY parts until later. So I built a lot of electric skateboards over the years and I really started to take note of the pain points of building. Um, and, and one of the immediate ones that come to mind is putting your motor mount on your trucks and aligning it perfectly with your pulley. So that way your belt runs nicely and doesn't rub onto your rub onto the wheels. Um, it's straight, everything's nice and tight. All that's not a big deal if you're doing one or two on like a personal board, but if you're going to be making boards or trying to scale manufacturing of boards, it just, that's not the way to do it. You cannot make something that requires micro adjustments um, to get something perfectly right. We have to create something that fits together perfectly, fits together in one way, and fits together correctly the very first time and designed in a way where nearly anybody could do it quickly. We need to design something that's repeatable and scalable, um, and that's kind of what we're doing or have done. So, this is not my first time designing a truck. My first time designing a truck was the extended trucks, which, to be fair, I didn't do, I didn't really have to do a whole lot. I mean, this truck already existed, just smaller. So all I had to do was extend the hanger, extend the axle to my specifications, and it was pretty much done. Um, this one, however, it, you know, it's it's a lot more involved. It's a lot uh, more of a difficult uh, design. So I based the design for our new production board back trucks off of our extended trucks. Our extended trucks already exist. Um, they're proven. We use them all the time. Our customers really like them. So there's no point in really making or designing an entirely new front truck for a board that just doesn't need that much effort for the front truck. We already have one that already works. So our goal is to design something new that matches the front truck so when they're both mounted to the same board they at least look like they go together so what we did is we modified our original extended truck version um, and, and all we really needed to add was a permanent version of a mounting clamp so that way we could get our motor mounts permanently fixed to our trucks so as you can see the main shape of the truck looks very very similar to our extended trucks um, right now this looks just like our extended trucks i mean a little bit different there's some minor adjustments but in theory, it looks exactly like our extended trucks. But then we've added uh, two, what, what they are, they're main little pieces, but they replace uh, motor mount clamps. They are completely fixed to the trucks. Um, they're permanent, so there's no reason you don't have to adjust them or mount them to your trucks. They're just part of the trucks themselves. Um, and, and, and we've really done that using a technique that a lot of electric skateboard companies have used. It's a very similar technique. You probably noticed this on a lot of different manufacturers um, and, and honestly the technique is great. It works perfectly and there's no reason to really change it too much but we wanted to just add a, you know, our own take on it. But other than that, um, what this allows us to do is it allows for perfect alignment and perfect spacing when it comes to our pulleys and belts. So along with our uh, trucks we did have to design a motor mount that worked perfectly with it as well as a gear cover. Um, that worked perfectly with it as well. So our motor mount, very simple, um, very familiar looking. It's nothing too different. I mean, this one matches everything we need it for, but it's a similar type thing that the electric skateboard industry has been doing forever. And then we also did a gear cover as well. So this will, you know, gear cover, belt cover, whatever you want to call it. Um, for right now, we are um, 3D printing them for prototype use, but then uh, I really don't want to ship any kind of product with any 3D printed parts. So we do have this sent off to a plastic injection molded factory who had made a custom mold for us and we are actually getting these properly made so they're not 3D printed for our customers. I really don't want to ship anything 3D printed. I just, I just doesn't, I don't think it looks very nice and they're not as durable as I, as they could be. So as soon as those come back, I, that'll be very exciting. But other than that, I mean, everything's designed, everything's in the works and then, yeah, now we just gotta get our trucks in. Okay, so it took me several iterations and several revisions to finally get our final design. Obviously, I didn't just design it once and it was perfect right away, so we used a 3D printer to pretty much test fit everything. So I had a version, we 3D printed it, we used that to test fit our motors, our pulleys, our wheels, make sure everything was uh, working properly. 
Um, and then we would make some adjustments, move on to the next version, and then so on and so on. The first iteration, I knew we were going to go with these permanent clamp style, um, very common on a lot of different electric skateboards. So I knew I was going to use three different holes, and I just kind of randomly slapped three holes. Um, the angle didn't really matter. And then what I did is I made the angle matter to the motor mount, so that way I can control the angle of the motor mount. Which worked great until I had to add a second motor mount onto the other side, and realizing that because somehow I spaced that if these holes here aren't symmetrical uh, vertically, then the second time when you add the motor mount to the other side, it isn't the right angle and the angles don't match the motor mount. So I'd have one motor mount really high and one, one motor mount really low. So we had to go back to the drawing board and fix the motor mount. So the motor mount was perfectly symmetrical so that way no matter what way you had it, um, they would face the same way, they would be aligned the right way, and they'd both be the right angle, which is important. So that got us to our version two. So now um, they all line up perfectly, both sides work the same way as they should. So that was great. Uh, the only issue with this one is that the axle wasn't quite long enough. So we made a few adjustments and we made it to version three. Version three was cool because we were trying to thicken up the, the axle a little bit, but it just, the, the way that the manufacturing process works, it, it just wasn't a good fit. So now we had to go to version four, which is here. So pretty much the axle is perfectly aligned. It's perfectly the, the exact length that we needed it. We added our logo here just so we know exactly which side's which. And then this turned out really, really nice. So once we had this test fit, uh, everything, all of our components worked perfectly. I sent this file off to our manufacturer, a couple thousand dollars later, a mold later, and we finally have our metal version, which is much beefier and it's freaking perfect. It's awesome. So that was our sample right here. And uh, it looks really nice. Everything fit, most importantly. All the test pieces fit exactly the way that they should have. Um, it was pretty much perfect at this point. Um, so now at this point, all we're waiting on is our full shipment of all of these. So th we had approved this sample, and now production of the full batch is underway. And then as soon as we get them, um, I don't know, I'm excited about it. Well, we'll see. As long as everything works out and as everything's right, then we should be good. Okay, so today is a very important day for um, M boards. Uh, we are getting about 16 rather large boxes of our custom uh, trucks that are going to be used for our complete boards. So we've been waiting for them for a long time. Hopefully they all turned out perfect. I know our samples were pretty awesome. So yeah, we'll see. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Should be 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. All right, well, load them up. Alright, two car fulls. One and two. Whew, they're heavy. So here is the sample that we have. We already have this, it's perfect. So as long as these, as long as these look like that, we should be good. And it's the same mold, so I can't imagine why they'd be wrong. But there's always that fear that they're gonna show up like completely not right. Well, so far so good. Alright. I mean, that's them. Okay, so here's our sample. Here's what we just received, and it looks, as far as I can tell, it looks completely correct. So that's good. I gotta test it, make sure our spacing is perfect, but it looks correct. Okay, so thankfully, everything's here. It's exactly what we expected. It's They all match our sample, which is the important thing. Um, the only reason why they would be wrong is if the factory messed them up somehow. Like our, our models have been uh, very, tested, our samples have been tested, so the only reason why they would be wrong is if the factory somehow just messed everything up. But luckily, everything looks good, everything checks out. I mean, I gotta unbox all these to really double check, but the few samples I've looked through so far, um, they look good. So, uh, huge sigh of relief, this is definitely one of the hardest pieces of the puzzle for sure. 
Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So anyways, guys, subscribe if you want to follow that whole, uh, the whole process of getting our production boards um, complete. So this is, again, one big part of it, but there's a lot of other things we still have to get done before we can release our boards in March. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hi, I'm Mike, and these are my trucks. <laughs>